What's up, YouTube? This is Shipper here, and I'm bringing you guys some sweet Battlefield 3 game I had um, before yesterday. I'm playing in uh, Operation Metro, some Rush Hardcore, as you can see. I completely dislike Core now. Hardcore is just fucking awesome. It's just, you know, it feels so. It feels much more realistic, if you were to ask me. For me, you know, in terms of, you know, war, I really can't really explain, you know, I mean, I bought this game because it's supposedly the closest, you know, shooter game to real life, so I found, you know, that like core was kind of bullshit, then I got on hardcore, and as you can see, it's pretty much like real life, you know, one or three, two, two or three bullets to kill you, you know, not like ten fucking bullets. But in this lobby, I was with a great team. I was in a private server that uh, one of my friends has. So the server is clean. No campers. It's pure mayhem. Here I planted an income. I go right here. Now it's time to do a little sun horn. Why did I say horn? I get shot. And I Boom, bitch. I got lucky as fuck, man. I'll admit that. So then I get here and I see this little boy here. Oops. But what what does matter, you know what I mean? I freaking destroyed the income, that what matters. It's like today, I mean, there was a tank in a con conquest game and the tank was gonna take out our objective, you know. So I was like, okay, it's time for, you know, to do something dirty. So I grab the RPG, shoot it, and you know, one more bullet left to uh, destroy it and then what all I did was jump and commit suicide and I mean destroyed a tank and I killed myself in the process but I saved my team's ass but in the end we lost the match I don't know I don't remember why and how but I, it didn't really matter but I really love this map this is practically my favorite map I'm still searching for a rush only hardcore server and hopefully I can find a server that only plays in this map. I enjoy the other ones, but I don't really like them that much. I mean, this and there's another map, uh, Grand Passar, I think it's called, are my two favorite maps. But I really can't find a ser server like that so far. I mean, I heard in PC they got servers like that, but hello, it's PC. But, I mean, what can I do for that? Whoa, and I missed that guy totally oh wait no he's not friendly but yeah I mean um um I got a another game that is the game that after this one I got a game where I get a hundred kills and that game was really intense but the thing is that it lasts like um this game lasts about let me see 13 minutes so 30 minutes and I recorded two hours and 30 minutes. Let's say that that one game lasts about two hours and 20 something minutes. So I didn't really want to post like 18 part videos and stuff like that. So what I decided to do was like cut the video as much as I could. Only show you guys like the best kills I got and all that stuff. And ooh, ooh, let's say kill him. That's what I love about hardcore. But I mean, um, I cut. Uh, I put like the the best kills and my favorite moments. I had a lot of other ones, but the problem is that it's really like long clips, like ten minutes for you to see. You know how many kills I get. So I decided to do it like that. So you know, it, it, it's gonna feel like a montage. But I mean, I in the first round, <laughs> in the first stage of the map, I went forty four and. I think or less with the sniper only the bolt action and I used a little bit the semi-automatic one here I'm telling my friend to get on this lobby because this lobby was freaking great but he didn't listen he didn't believe me sadly oh and this lobby for some reason had like double XP I think at a moment I don't really remember I think it did but I mean so I just had to do it like that so hopefully you guys like it, I mean, it's not really easy to get 100 kills, but as you can see, I mean, this game, we, the attackers, we get like 400 tickets, so, 
there's a 99.9.9.9% we're gonna win the attackers uh, unless you know the defender builds a really great defense like um, before this game that you're watching right here I went like 44 and 5 which you guys saw them the scoreboard that I put a video like 12 seconds the only reason we won was because we built this crazy overpowered defense that it literally and like whoa I thought I was gonna get team killed and literally the enemy team could not do anything I mean we what we did was like stood close to their spawn and each time they were coming out we were killing them and we pushed them to their spawn because I mean 400 tickets is really tiresome you know I mean it you know uh, two three four hours the same map going and going and if the enemy blows at both MCOMs you're fucked because it's all over again I mean it tends to get really repetitive and tiresome you know that's a really great revive there but I mean um it's great it was it's really fun playing like this with 400 tickets I mean it means that it's gonna be a long game a lot of mayhem and all that but a couple of things can get annoying this is my probably the part that every person that plays the map really love this area here I mean, this place is close quarters only you got a shotgun you're gonna fuck a lot of people up but still you're gonna get yourself killed I mean I really love this place this area here especially I mean, you, you can get a lot of kills here. I don't know why I did that. That's, that was just retarded. But I got 100 points. But, I mean, that's probably everybody's favorite part of the map. I mean, this area here and the next area, if you're the defender, you can build a really high defense and you can easily win. Obviously, you need a lot of team teamwork because if you do it yourself alone, you're just fucked because you're going to get... Demolish! You're gonna get your ass squished, literally. But is all all to win this game? You need like a lot of teamwork, which is not that hard to do. I mean, for example, if you're in your squad, if you have a squad, at least try to have one recon guy. And freaking Claymore, I hate him. I really recommend like uh. Um, recon guy at least one but don't have like a full recon squad because it's completely horrible at least I recommend like having you know each guy be different you know for example you are the recon your your friend is the engineer the other one the support and the other one the assault so you know you can you know heal each other give yourself ammo blah 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 and you know, that is literally the best way to play but it's really hard to get in a squad like that I I mean if you can see my whole squad is assault it's not bad but the disadvantage is that we cannot spawn like close you know to the enemy as I would do I mean if I was the recon I would plan like a um, spawn radio thing nearby the enemy so all we do is just spawn there and kill them that's, that's like the best way you know to fight a, a really good defense as the enemy right now is putting but we managed to pull through that I mean it wasn't <clears throat> it wasn't that easy but we managed to do it but it really takes a lot of patience and it can get really annoying especially I think in this game I think it is that yes there's like a fucker with a freaking use USAS 12 I just hate that thing I mean, wow, I, wow, team kill. I really, that's another thing that I really kind of hate. I mean, there, there are moments, I mean, I honestly don't memorize how does the enemy team looks like. You know, how the, if it's the Russians or Americans, you know, I don't really pay attention to that. So, you know, if I all of a sudden I'm like standing here and a friendly comes in, it's going to take like about like um, two seconds for, wow, again, team killed by the same guy for the for the blue name to show up in those three seconds I most of the time will think it's an enemy and I'm gonna go for a kill and I end up killing them 
which is something that I would really like them to fix, you know. Some of you may be like, no, oh, it's not that bad, but it tends to get really annoying because sometimes I attract unnecessary attention because, you know, some friendly got on my way and scared the fuck out of me. But now I'm, I'm pulling a lot of offense. I think in this part here, I got like confused because here, oh yes, no, no, it's not yet, no, it's not there yet. I get like to the enemy in a, in a moment I get to the enemy um, MCOM I think is the B no the A one and I see like everything is close and I completely didn't know that you could break, break those woods so which is quite retarded as you could say I mean I'm still kind of noobish in some things in this game but at, what matters is that we won with a lot of team team effort a strategy for this map, if you were to ask me, um, it really depends a lot on your team, um, the class you're using, the type of, you know, um, way you approach this game, and especially whether if you are the attacker or the defender. Because if you are the defender, all, all I recommend is doing, um, for example, if there's just one MCOM left, do a wall around it. You know, get on um, every key spot that you know the enemy has to pass to get to the end com and protect it. Protect those spots um, at, at all costs, doesn't matter what you do. Just try not to use the freaking USAS-12 with freaking fractions. And there I am, I'm like, wh where do I get in? Where do I get in? Then I get nervous and I go back here. Retarded me. Everybody has a retarded moment, man. But... That's how I say, you know, if you were to defend, I recommend you doing that. I rec definitely recommend having a couple of snipers, you know, to take out, you know, um, people behind, you know. I mean, if you have an automatic weapon, I recommend, like, uh, laying, laying low near the objective so the snipers can do the, you know, lo long distance wo work. And here, I really got pissed off because I got killed by a freaking random grenade there. It's like, oh, why well, not? I'm a uh, freaking grenade launcher. But if you are the attacker, I that is really hard to say on a strategy because it really depends on the enemy team. Because if they are protecting really well the incomes, I will definitely recommend having a recon guy mm, getting in. Whoa, that guy dolphin dive there. I definitely recommend like a recon guy getting nearby the enemy, you know, a key spot where you know that as soon as you spawn you can get to the enemy and clear the place. You just have a, like a radio there, you know, just in case. Like the best way. And hopefully that you and your team can come through that. If not, then I really have no clue what I will do. What you will you need to do? I have, you know... If I see that there's no way we can win, I will just concentrate on killing, you know. At least I gotta do something. But that is pretty much all I could say, you know. It, it also really depends on the map, because there are maps that are ridiculously huge. I got like no strategy in those. But I, I will try soon to like make a strike, you know, hopefully. But I mean, that is pretty much the game. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, tell me what you think of this commentary, you know, did it help you, did it not, what you like, what you like me to say, I don't know, about the game, etc. I will soon talk about the patch that they put, which is freaking awesome. Um, please leave a comment, share this video with your friends, tell them about me. Um, I'm looking for a PS3 player that want to play with me on um, Battlefield 3 that is good and driving um, helicopters and jet because I suck at them. But that is all, I'm shipper and I'm out.